You know what? Hey, forgive me for making this video seem really tabloid-y. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting from this article over here, but I thought this was such a weird and interesting idea to talk about that, hey, we're making a video about it. Why not? I'm low on content and I would like to talk about this. There was this TVA Sports article and yes, I know it's TVA Sports, but don't worry, this is not a suggestion as to what Mark Bergevin should do or whatever. This is an article about Rasmus Dahlin. It's a short article over here, and if you read the title, it says Rasmus Dahlin, a maire de l'Ordre sort du Montreal Canadiens. Now, okay, we're gonna translate this into English. Let's do that at the top of the page via the Google machine. Rasmus Dahlin is bitter about the happy fate of the Montreal Canadiens. This is what the title is. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're getting into tabloid gossipy material here, folks. Full disclosure, we're keeping the article translated in English from French as we read it. It starts off by talking about how Rasmus Dahlin is bitter because the Buffalo Sabres D-man will still not get a taste of the playoffs after two seasons in the NHL. And... It's the Montreal Canadiens' fault, in a way. With hindsight, the Swede finds it bizarre that it was the Montreal Canadiens who obtained the last available spot in the playoffs, which is going to be headlined by the 24-team play-in format. Now, the article in French uses the word amer, which is translated into bitter if you do that through the Google machine. Pretty much, this article is highlighting Rasmus Dahlin's jealousy of the Habs and how he feels indignant that it was Montreal instead of his own team that made the play-in series against the Pittsburgh Penguins. Now, here in the article, they go into quotes. And the article establishes that the quotes are coming from Gotisborg's Posten, a Swedish media outlet. If it's Swedish, I would assume that these quotes are from Swedish. Then they were translated into French for this TVA sports article, and then I am translating them into English via Google Translate, so things may have gotten lost in translation, going from potentially Swedish to French to English. If not Swedish to English to French back to English, there could be some problems with these translations. But this is what we're presented with after going through Google Translate. Take a look at these quotes over here. We had played two less games than the Habs, and we had three points less, said the 20-year-old prodigy in an interview with Gotisberg Posten. The match that we had to play just before the suspension of activities was against them. So it could very well have been us, the last team to qualify. Now this is something that we did bring up in our Jack Eichel video, where I talked about how his frustrations have led him to the point where I wouldn't be surprised if Eichel requested a trade. The Buffalo Sabres barely missed out. Their points percentage was just slightly lower than Montreal's points percentage because Montreal's point percentage was one, Buffalo had one fewer point than games played. When the NHL wrapped up its entire season and stopped everything up, they did so on the night that Buffalo was playing Montreal. So had the NHL paused up their season a day later, who knows if the Buffalo Sabres would have defeated the Montreal Canadiens in regulation and would have taken in that play-in series against the Pittsburgh Penguins, and Montreal would drop to, what, seventh overall in the draft lottery? Oh man, that's really rough to think about. If things went according to plan, if they played that game, let's say the Buffalo Sabres win in overtime, then if you do it like that... All of a sudden, the Montreal Canadiens' point percentage is the same as the Buffalo Sabres. And we don't know what the tiebreakers would have been, or at least maybe we do, I just don't really recognize that myself. But there was a possibility that the Buffalo Sabres could have made the play-in series if the NHL just decided a few more hours, hey, you know, maybe we'll cancel this thing tomorrow. 
That was the point that we made when we talked about Jack Eichel and we talked about his comments about him being very, very upset that the Buffalo Sabres weren't good enough to qualify for a 2014 playoff when their goal was to qualify for a 16-team playoff and how Jack Eichel has spent five years playing in the National Hockey League to getting zero playoff games. This team just can't find ways to win and get into the postseason, and Rasmus Dahlin shares the frustration, and he shares even further the frustration that we shared, talking about how the team that barely beat them out for the playoff spot was the team that they would have faced the day the NHL stopped functioning. Here are some more quotes from Rasmus Dahlin. It's life, and there's not much you can do. But now that all my Swedish friends are leaving for the playoffs, I'm staying at home like a loser. It grips me, and it makes me very frustrated. Now, Rasmus Dahlin is the same age as I am, we're both born in the year 2000, so I could definitely understand where he's coming from, but this quote is so funny to me, I don't know what it is. All my friends are leaving for the playoffs, and I'm staying here like a loser. Ooh, man, what a way to label you and your team. Obviously, I don't want to make any... Rasmus Dahlin is toxic insinuations. I just found the quote very funny, so let's continue. The young man also revealed that he has been spending a lot of time in the gym lately, and then the article goes over his statistical profile. Let's not read all that. We're here for the juiciness. Rasmus Dahlin has expressed quite a bit of frustration already in two years of being in the Buffalo Sabres organization and not making the playoffs. Is there a potential that we see the same frustrations out of Rasmus Dahlin, let's say in 2023, that we are seeing with Jack Eichel this year if the Buffalo Sabres do not find a way to improve? Is it possible? I would say it's possible. It's maybe even likely. But at the same time, we have to take into account the overall personalities that Rasmus Dahlin and Jack Eichel have, because to me, Jack Eichel is much more of a devoted and outwardly passionate guy. Not to say that Rasmus Dahlin doesn't care about hockey, it's just, when I think of a guy who puts his heart on his sleeve and is not afraid to let people know that he is pissed off when he is pissed off and losing, I think more about Jack Eichel than I do Rasmus Dahlin. Dahlin seems more cool, calm, and collected, maybe inwardly frustrated, but not necessarily as outwardly confrontational about his frustrations as a Jack Eichel is. Obviously, this character study is just my own personal opinion. You can feel free to disregard this and comment down below why I'm wrong in the comment section in the bottom there. But Rasmus Dahlin is a guy who has already expressed his concerns too. In addition to the Jack Eichel thing, I think this is... Just a very weird time for Buffalo Sabres fans. If I was a full-time Sabres fan, I would be kinda shook right now, not gonna lie. Hearing the captain come out and say that he's been frustrated for five years, and how this team is ultimately a failure for not being able to make a 24-team format when their goal was to make a 16-team format, followed up by hearing how your other franchise talent, Rasmus Dahlin, is very frustrated and he feels like a loser. That's something that you don't want your players to feel like, especially in an environment like the NHL. So for Rasmus Dahlin to sit here and talk about how he is jealous and bitter at the Montreal Canadiens for making the play-in series in what was most likely the most cop-out way the NHL could have done it, definitely makes sense to me. Especially with the factor that they would have played each other if the NHL didn't pause up. Who knows, if the Rasmus Dahlin and Jack Eichel duo was able to get it done against Montreal the day the NHL pauses up, then maybe it's them in the play-in series against Pittsburgh. And maybe it's that Jack Eichel drive that inspires the rest of the Buffalo Sabres to will themselves forward, pay off their dues, and defeat the Penguins. Maybe Money Puck would give them a 60% odds at beating the Penguins too. You never know. For those wondering, Rasmus Dahlin has wrapped up two NHL seasons. He got 44 points in 82 games in his first one at 18 years old. He had 40 points in 59 games played this season at 19 years old. Do the points per game on that 40 divided by 59 multiplied by 82. He was on pace for 56 points. No big deal for a teenage defenseman in the NHL. So if there's anybody out there on your team who's going to talk about how he is frustrated and upset that his team isn't winning, 
First off, it's Jack Eichel who's allowed to do that. He's really good. And Rasmus Dahlin is probably second. So these all could be signs for an eventual change in Buffalo, but we'll just have to wait till next year because that's the unfortunate truth of how this has come about. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Switch so that for us tonight. And I and comment down below what you think about this weird topic. And bye. <laughs>